Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Now, as you can see, we had both Munch and Cobra both evolve, and we started immediately making our way through Route 35, battling whatever trainers we found along the way for extra experience. Now, on this route, I thought I was going to battle this guy, but he turned out to be a photographer, and he took a very nice picture showing off all the shinies and Pokemon we have so far. After defeating all of the trainers on the route, we finally gained access to the grass patch on Route 35, so we were able to get our next encounter here. And to my delight, we encountered one of my favorite Pokemon, or at least what evolves into one of my favorite Pokemon, a Drowsy. So I was really excited about this because I love using Hypno. We were able to catch the Drowsy, and I named her Hypnotic. I ran north to get my encounter in this area, but we accidentally ran into this trainer right here. Now, she wasn't really much of an issue at all, she just used a bunch of quote-unquote cute Pokemon, and we were able to destroy them pretty quickly, and then she wanted to give us her number, which is the only reason I'm logging all these in, in case I need to battle some trainers later. So now we actually start trying to get our encounter, and we ran into a little bit of a problem. So you see, at least at this time of day, there were only Hoot Hoot. Only Hoot Hoot. I wasn't encountering anything else. It was just Hoot Hoot after Hoot Hoot after Hoot Hoot. And I was like, I guess that's the only thing on this route. So I decided to just come back later and if anything ever happens to Hootie, I know where to get a replacement. So I decided to leave and instead go to challenge the gym. But Gym Leader Whitney decided to be off somewhere else, messing around trying to get a radio card. So I take the quiz, and the, please ignore the fact that I got one of the questions wrong. Um, I swear that I was reading it very quickly, just trying to mash through it, and I read that it said Bill, or whatever his face is, used apricots to make Pokeballs, and I swear it said Apricorn the first time I read it. But anyway, we got that, we defeated all of the lasses in her gym, quickly figuring out her puzzle, because it wasn't difficult at all, and now we are able to go and battle Whitney. Now, I did a lot of preparation for this, because her mill tank is infamously a bitch! And you will be able to see exactly what I mean right here. Now, all she has is a level 17 Clefairy and her mill tank, which is like level 21, 22. And so I was like, you know, this won't be that hard. I easily take down the Clefairy with two crunches because, you know, it's a freaking Clefairy. It's only normal type in this gen. But, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. She used a super potion, but that didn't really matter. Clefairy went down anyway. So, you know, it's going all right. But then here comes the freaking mill tank. Oh, it's even level 19. It's lower than I thought it was. Look at how overleveled I am for this because I was so scared of battling this thing. Like in the original gold and silver, her mill tank isn't that bad. I sweeped it with a hypno. But here, they gave it so many tools with attract, stomp, flinch. It just has milk drink and a roll. It didn't use rollout actually against me. That wasn't an issue. It was literally everything else. So I immediately paralyze it, hoping it to, you know, get a little bit of an advantage, and I wrap it for some extra damage. But already, Miltank is doing so much damage, and I was hoping to keep Cobra out because she's the only one immune to attract, but it didn't matter, because I was doing some decent damage, but every single time I would get it down, Miltank would use Milk Drink. And I think, oh, it's just, it's so annoying. Like... Ugh. It's like Whitney just has infinite super potions on this thing. No matter how many times I would get its health down, it would drink its own milk and heal itself. Like, ugh. So anyway, I'm continuing to try and beat away at this thing using whatever I can, experimenting with different attacks, trying to see which ones do more damage, and it's, ugh, it was just going nowhere. She was just continuously beating down on my Pokemon while her mill tank was sitting over there constantly healing itself back to full. The only thing I had on this thing was that it was paralyzed. So I tried switching over to Hootie instead to see if maybe Hootie could do a bit more damage. And again, look at how overleveled I am. This thing is a tank that can heal itself. So I tried using Confusion to see how well that would go, and it didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. So I went into my items to see what I had. And I didn't have much because I wasn't expecting to really use a lot of items in battle. You know, I normally don't have to. But I ended up using an X attack. 
and I guess I forgot that I used that because the next turn I used confusion for some reason. <laughs> and then as you can see here, the reason I was keeping in Cobra, again, she was a female, attract wouldn't work. But I had to switch in another Pokemon because Cobra was about to die. So now I'm also having to deal with the attract shenanigans here. So she's got the whole pair of, like, not pair of flinch, that's something else. Uh, the flinch attract thing going on. Um, but luckily for me, Hootie was able to break through a lot of the uh, mobilized by love kind of thing. And I had Roost, so I was ready to stall her out the same amount that she was going to stall me. I knew it was a benefit teaching Hootie Roost. So while she was healing, I was also healing. So now we did have some interesting turns like right there where she was paralyzed and then I was immobilized by love. So, you know, paral paralysis was a pretty decent thing, but she kept healing. So it was getting to the point where it just wasn't worth keeping Hootie out, but I was trying to get as much damage as I could. Now I did get just a little bit risky here, still using Peck. And keep in mind, that was a Peck with an X attack, but once Hootie got down to 9, I couldn't keep him out there anymore, and I withdrew him so I don't lose another Pokemon to a gym leader like with Falconer. Anyway, so I send in Munch, and immediately... I was trying to figure out what would be the best strategy. Now in my head I was thinking I can use Rage, it'll build up in damage and I'll start dealing a lot. But when I was using Rage is the exact time that Miltank decided to just spam Milk Drink and attract. And it wasn't attacking me so I wasn't building the Rage. I was still trying because I was like come on I need to find an easy way to damage this thing before it can heal too much. And eventually, it was just getting to the point where, like, Raid was doing nothing. I wasn't getting attacked enough for Rage to be worth it. So I started trying to mess around with other attacks. But as you could see, I was just spamming Rage so much. But at that point, I was like, you know, this isn't working. Let me try Bite. And that did a decent amount. But I was like, okay, that's still not as much as I would like. Let me see how much Water Gun does, which did less. So I also then realized, Meltank is paralyzed. If I spam Bite, I can utilize Paraflinch uh, techniques. And so that's what I started doing. I just started spamming the crap out of Bite, and it started working. She couldn't use Milk Drink, she couldn't attack me, she was flinching, getting paralyzed, and I finally, FINALLY took this stupid Milk Tank down. I never realized how much of an issue Whitney was, because I never really played Heart Gold Soul Silver. I only had to go off of the Whitney in Soul, like normal silver and normal gold. But anyway, I defeat her. She cries like a little brat and won't give me the badge, so I have to go talk to this lass that I beat up earlier, and Whitney finally calms down, you know? She's only like a little child who's a gym leader for some reason. And I, I, just, I know, it's, it's a weird trend that a lot of the gym leaders in this generation are super immature, and you'll see that later on, too. But anyway, she finally gives me the badge, she gives me the ability to use strength outside of battle, and I get the TM for attract, which I probably won't use. So anyway, this is where we're leaving off. See you next time.